guys welcome back to my channel well what I have for you today is I want to do another farmhouse French country DIY and this time let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this I picked up this paint can from Lowe's and it's they sell perfectly good paint cans and I think this was like four dollars maybe five I, I really can't remember and then I also picked up a smaller one when I picked this up so you'll be seeing that too <laughs> like I said I'm obsessed but you just need a paint can if you had an old one that you could just sit outside and let it weather it would be great or that had weathered already okay then I'm going to be using now I'm really not sure this is kind of going to be a DIY where we kind of develop it as we go okay i'm pretty i know for sure that i'm going to be using some gesso you can get this at michael's you can get it um i have it linked in my amazon store i'm pretty sure um anywhere like that you can use this to seal a project and that's what i'm going to do to seal this um like metal with first so some gesso then i'm pretty sure i'm going to take some waverly chalk paint in that plaster you could add the baking soda if you wanted, and I have debated. I've gone back and forth and back and forth. I don't think I'll do it this time, just to see what an effect it'll give us on this. And I've used it before like this without the baking soda, and I did like it. Um, I may go in with my Waverly chalk paint in the celery. Love this stuff. I have done DIYs with it. Maybe a little bit of the Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut. And I'll link as much of this as I can in my Amazon storefront in the description box below this video. It's behind, it's below all my videos. Then I always use the Tight Bond Original Wood Glue um, to put, we're going back to our molds again. Yes, we are. <laughs> I can't help it. But to apply the molds. And then I may throw in some metallic royal gold from Folk Art. And I may throw in some metallic chocolate brown. Those of you that have been with me for a while know I love that stuff. You're going to need some cornstarch when you use your molds. I'm going to be using this brush that I am obsessed with and probably some other brushes. And then probably two molds, okay? So let me get everything flipped down and we'll get started with this farmhouse French country I think this is really going to be cute DIY. Okay, here is my metal paint can. And I don't think I'm going to paint this top. I think I'm just going to take it off and set it aside. And I have another idea for that and some other lids, okay? And I'm just going to take this Artist Loft white acrylic gesso. I picked this up at Michael's. Like I said, um, I'm pretty sure it's in my Amazon storefront. Okay, I'm just going to take this. Like I said, I use this just to um, seal this paint. And I'm just going to put it on here just like this. You don't have to be real particular. I've also use this and made things look like wood. So this I think is very versatile. All right, so we'll just put this on here. Doesn't take very long at all to dry and you don't wanna put it on real thick but you wanna get it covered. And I typically just go in one direction around the container. Got it a little thicker there. You could give this a really rusty vibe if you wanted to. I think that would be pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and do my handle. I think you really use less paint when you do this, plus it kind of helps your paint adhere a lot better, I find. 
And then I'm just gonna go down in here in this top. That's a little thick, so I'm kinda gonna brush that out. Put this back on here. Okay, I'm gonna take a hair dryer to this and I'll be Okay, here it is. It's nice and dry and you can see it was just, it's kind of, I wasn't real particular, but I did make sure I went in one direction. I didn't just slap it on there, okay? So we're gonna set this aside for now. And I All right, I have my IOD molds, the classic elements. I love these. And then I'm reusing the trimmings too that I picked up the other day. All right, I have my cornstarch and I've decided that I'm going to use this mold right here on the top and the bottom of this can. So you just wanna put a little bit of cornstarch in here and it helps the mold to release and you get, I think, a much cleaner um, casting if you do this. You don't wanna put a ton of it in there, you just wanna, kinda of like if you're baking a cake and you flour your um, pans, then you turn it over and knock it out and that's basically how I do mine, okay? So now what I want to do is take this IOD air dry clay. I may also dip into my dad's air dry clay that I got off of Amazon and I'll link this in my description box. But I have this open and I really do love it. So, and you have to keep it in a plastic container, Ziploc container baggie so it does not dry out on you because it's so full of moisture. I do really like the IOD clay, it is wonderful. So I'm just gonna sort of take this, you've seen me do this so many times, I'm gonna kind of squish this, work it, and then you don't wanna overwork it though, and just kind of like roll it into a long log, basically. And then we're gonna put it in here, in our mold, and start squishing it. Okay, I scooted you down a little bit. I think maybe you can see it better. But I love these molds. I love the micro rim on it. It gives you a very clean casting. You do wanna keep it very flat because you're going to be applying it to a surface. Now I just take my thumb and start scooting it and I'm just gonna put the excess over here. I have plenty. And you can reuse the clay that you're pulling up off. So save those pieces, you can reuse them. Okay. And I'm going to put this right back in here so it doesn't dry out. And you can see you just sort of let gravity take effect. And look at this beautiful casting. I love it. Okay. So we're going to apply this and then we're going to paint. So I'm going to get my tight bond glue. All right, I'm just going to flip this over and put some glue right on here. You can use a popsicle stick like I've said in the past, or a craft stick, a brush, anything like that. Make sure you get it out to the edges because you want it to adhere. I just use my fingers. Then I'm gonna take these little rollers. They really help to keep things from rolling around. I'm just going to put this right on here. I'm gonna put it right under that lip. And then I'm just going to press down gently. I don't wanna distort my image 
but I want to make sure that it has had contact. And this is what we're getting so far. I already love it. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing. that right up there bring it right up through here And this is what we're getting okay so we just have a little place right here to have to piece together just make sure you have good contact all around I have heard that this stuff dries so hard once it's dried and sealed that somebody had to take a chisel to get it loose several of you had asked me how this would do outside so i from what i've heard i think once it totally dried and you put a sealer over it i think it would be fine because it dries so hard Okay, and I know that I have it a little longer than I need it, and that is okay by me. So, we'll cut it. Just going to take this Dollar Tree putty knife and come straight down there. Put the rest of this in here. And there we go, we've pieced it together, all right? So I'm going to do the exact thing, I think on the bottom, I think I want, but you know what, now that I look at it, I kinda just want it around the top, all right? So I think I'm pretty much through with this mold. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this with a mild hand soap and a toothbrush so I don't ruin this all. All right, now I'm going to get this classic elements mold truthfully if you just had a couple of these molds you could do a ton of stuff with it you don't have to have as many as what I'm getting because I'm totally obsessed but if you just had a couple you could do so much all right I'm gonna get this out 
I found the front of my um, container here. Okay, note to self, always use your cornstarch if you want a good release. And I definitely do, so in here I go with my cornstarch. Okay, now we will unmold this. It comes out so much easier and cleaner with the cornstarch. So definitely do yourself a favor. Oh gosh, it's gonna be beautiful. And use the cornstarch. Okay, going to flip this over. Put this right here. Okay, I'm gluing my shirt. <laughs> This paint can never looked so lovely. <laughs> mm. I love this. I'm looking for some furniture like at um, Facebook Marketplace or antique places that I can go and remake some, but I don't have any that I want to you know, any furniture that I want to remake. So I'm looking for some. I think it would be so pretty. Okay, this is what we're getting so far. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's all I can say, okay? So I think, and make sure you get your edges down really well, but you don't want to disturb you know smash your molds in any way and I highly recommend this tight bond love it okay now going to put the same thing on the other side so I'm going to go ahead and dust this with cornstarch again because that is such an intricate little um, design that I don't want to take a chance that maybe some of it gets stuck and lost.
I love this. So beautiful. Okay, flip it over. don't want to mar what I've already put on there. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. That is gorgeous, okay? So, what I want to do, okay, I think I'm going, this just has so many beautiful embellishments in it that it's it's not even funny. Oh, look at this little rim. I just saw that. What could I do with that? Um, and I got this one a little lower than this one, but that's okay. I think I'll put this along the bottom. <laughs> All right, so we will take our cornstarch and just put it in this right here. This is supposed to look really old. So if it's not perfect, it doesn't bother me. That's the beauty of this. Look at this. And if I change my mind, I'm not out anything. I just put my clay right back in there. I like it on the bottom, okay? And that's what we're getting. Is that not so sweet? That's beautiful. Can you imagine the Christmas presents you can make? Oh, can you imagine what you could make and sell? <laughs> and even just for your home decor, oh my gosh. So beautiful. Make sure you press, press it in good. You can use a spatula or a um, 
plastic putty knife to make sure your mold's nice and even. I just use my thumb. Okay, now I'm just gonna line this up. And I'm not gonna lean this one down because I don't wanna smush what I've been working on. Okay, and we just have a little bit more to do. So I think I'll go to about right there. And you met, you probably will have some cracking. I haven't really had that much cracking, but I think it adds to the effect of the uh, clay. I just think it looks so old when it cracks. So I love it. And this sets up and gets like a skin on it pretty quick. But I'm still going to be careful when I paint it. You can let it totally dry or you can paint it wet. Okay, and that's as far as I need. I really didn't need it that far. So let's see. Okay, this is what we're getting so far. I'm crazy about it. I really am. So pretty, so unusual, okay? So I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back and we will start painting this. Okay, I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint in the plaster. Going to pour a little bit out. Like I said, I'm not going to be using the baking soda in this. You could if you wanted to. My brush that I love, okay? Going to put a little bit on here. And I am just going to start painting this. And I'm being really careful when I go over these castings that we just put on. Normally I would use a real light brush to paint them, but I wanna get a coat of this on like this. And it has dried a while, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll probably get a different brush a little later and come over these castings again. Just have to be real careful. If it was totally dry, you wouldn't have to be as careful. And I'm really not being extremely, I'm not scrubbing it, but I'm, I'm not being exceptionally, you know, concerned. And I'll do that handle last. We're gonna be layering paint get the effect that I'm hoping for. Now I'll just brush this top real lightly. Handle.
Okay, I'm gonna dry this with a hair dryer, and then I'll and I'm gonna put this in a plastic baggie so it won't dry out. And I'll be okay. Here it is dried. You could stop right here if you wanted. I think it would be so pretty, but I don't want to. Now I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in this celery. And I'm going to take this brush, it's very soft. And I'm just going to get in here in the lid and just dab some of this off. And I'm just going to come around through here. Just kind of hit it. You could put any color that you wanted on it. I just really wanted to go for something greenish. It really picks up all the dimension. of these molds and the can itself. Just coming around through here. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly uh, green. I just want to put a light touch to it. I don't want to change the whole can green. And I don't care that that got darker right there. It doesn't bother me at all. I love this color. down. I want to get that bottom really, really well. Put a little bit of that on this handle. And a little bit in here. Like I said, we're just going to be layering colors until we get it like we want. Okay. This is what we're getting so far. I think that's so pretty. You would never know that that was a paint can, okay? Now I want to take a little bit of this hazelnut chalk paint. I don't want to use a lot not even cleaning my brush, dabbing back in here. Then I'm gonna dab this off, a lot of it off, and just lightly come across through here to add a little bit more warmth on these castings and on the container. And it's just giving it an aged look. I hope it's coming across. I did something like this once before with a metal container and I loved it. And I'll link it behind this one. You can put as much or as little as you want on there. Just have a real light hand when you're doing it. I think it just gives it a really warmth to it and ages it. Especially with these um, castings, these molds. Just put it wherever you think you need it, as long as you like it, 
That's all that matters. And I'm not using a whole lot of paint. But I think it's bringing those castings to life. And don't forget the top. But I don't want to turn it all dark. I'm loving that green. I'll put some of this on my handle and on the inside because it all just has to match up. And I'm going to put it around this bottom. Okay. Now this is what we're getting so far and I really do love it so pretty this is the front and this is the back because it had the seam but now that seam has disappeared okay I think I'm going to take a little bit of this royal gold from folk art okay and we're just going to kind of Put this on it in places to give it a brighter look. Okay, that's what we're getting so far. Now you can stop or you can add just a little bit of this metallic chocolate brown, and I think I might. The smallest little drop. Okay, we're just going to come right through here. It adds just a little bit of darkness. I think it's really making this, these molds pop. And it's adding more texture, more dimension. I just love for things to have a just look like they've been layered and layered. I love to layer paint. It almost looks like it's getting a patina to it. I don't know if you can see that, if it's coming across or not. Okay. Now let me figure out what else I want to do. And I'll well, here it is. I really love this. I just put some uh, lamb's ear that I picked up at Walmart for, I don't know, it wasn't very much, but I'll let you look up close. Look at that. What a pretty paint can. And it's darker in places. I just love this, totally obsessed. And then here it is back here. You can do so much with these molds, I love them. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for a really awesome Dollar Tree haul. I found so many new finds and things that I could not believe I found. 
So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. And then I'll put this somewhere, who knows where in here. I think I need a bigger house. <laughs> and we'll take a look at it. Well, here she is. She was snoozing on the couch, weren't you? And she says, Mama, it's just pouring the rain down. And I'm so sleepy, I just can't stand it. Say hi, baby. Say hi, I love you. Say Mommy's burning up. Say, yes, she is. <laughs> so let's go take a look at this setting somewhere and see how it turns out there. Well, here it is on my server, and I just have it setting by some of those little balls I DIY'd on my channel, little garden balls. But I think this is really cute. Now, I have a piece of parchment paper under there just in case it's a little damp. I don't think it is, but I don't want to take a chance. But we'll start down here and just look at it. And I think that little lamb's ear just complements it so nicely. Okay, then we'll come over here and take a look at it. But that is just so pretty from any angle. And so easy to do. So, until next time, bye guys.